Hey everybody, Spurgle here again. Episode 2 of my clothing porting series. Today we're going to try and make this leather jacket that I found on Sketch Fab by Kendall Rummage fit the Daisy player. I'll be using the um, player rig dot blend that I showed in the last episode. Um, we don't need the mail, the armature or the entry, so we'll just hide them for this episode. Um, so yeah, first thing we're going to want to do is import our model into Blender. Now the one that came with that leather jacket is a Pladder or DAE. Okay, now that's imported, before we do anything else, let's go save as and put it in your project folder. I've already set up a clothes project and I'm just going to call this one leather jacket f dot blend. Save that. There we go. We've already got a save. Now I've had a mess with this one already. Um, and for ease in this tutorial I'm going to remove the zippers and drawstrings just because I don't really need them. In a real mod it would be nice, but for this example I don't think I really no, need them. It would just make it take a little bit longer. So let's delete all those vertices. Unhide that and go back to where we were. So we're going to want to, let, let's just check my notes actually. We're going to want to scale this item. At the moment, you can see whoop, shift. There we go. You're messing with OB controls are all backwards. See, see this orange dot? If I scale, it will scale in regards to that orange dot. See, it's trying to scale right down. Whereas if I go, what is it, right click, set origin, geometry to origin, or in this case, origin to geometry. Orange dot's now in the middle of our model, and when we scale, it will scale equally in itself, down to its center. So yeah, we wanna try and scale that roughly to the, the player. Okay, so between using S, S to scale, and G combined with X, Y, and Z, and you want to reposition your clothing item onto the player. Probably speed up the footage here because it can take a while. So let's go. Think that'll do. It's a pretty close fit, and um, we'll continue on by using proportional edit. But before we do that, I think we want to apply the texture to make sure that we're not stretching things that we shouldn't be. So down here, base color, image texture, open and then navigate to wherever you put the textures that came with 
the jacket or whatever item you're using. Yep. Okay, what does the note say? Ah, yeah, we want to apply all transforms. So we've been doing stuff in object mode. Um, if you hit Control A, Control A, you want to apply all transforms, all the movements and scales we just did. And now apply to the model. So when we hit Tab and go into Edit Mode, it's all actually where it should be. But before going into Edit Mode, if you go up to Edit, Preferences and type in mirror. You want the mesh auto mirror tool turned on? It's just a built in add on. I've already got mine on. And over here in edit, select your item, um, go to edit, auto mirror in the X axis, auto mirror. Now when we go tab into edit mode, it's only half the model to edit. Kind of looking like something's not quite central when it should be. Anyway, to do the next step, we're going to use proportional edit, which is up here. You've got different shapes, but we generally want the smooth for this sort of work. So let's start with this little bit. On the hip. Actually, go out of edit mode, go to G, X, and get that back to central because there we go. And now edit. Now with the proportional edit tool selected. You just want to find the vertices you want to move, pull around, and you uh, hit G for scale or rotation, and then use the mouse wheel to, um, what's this? It's like the circle of effect, so how much area, so if I'm a small circle, I'm only moving a small bit, big circle, I'm moving all of it. Yeah, we just want to pretty much grab that smallish area and tweak it that way a bit maybe forwards a little bit reduce the selection down and there we go we fix that a little bit the flare's no longer clipping through as there's a bit on the back as well, so let's take these two and do like a GY. So uh, yeah. let's go into a preview GY. Just pull that out just a smidge, so that's not clipping through. You get the idea. You're just grabbing a vertice and tweaking it little by little. Now the arms are going to be a pain. They always are. So I'll probably speed up footage from here and we'll get back to it when we're done. Let's go.
Okay, there. I think we're all done. It looks pretty good to me. Nothing's poking through. The arms were a right pain and I had to revert and go back and retweak. But always, you know, persistence is the key. Well, yeah, that will do it for this time. Next time we will be going into the weight transfer, the vertex groups, and um, maybe try and get this back into OB, ready for porting like any other item. Oh, I've just seen one more little pixel. There's always one. And we'll lock the back of that arm. I think that'll be alright, it's close enough. Anyway, till next time peeps, laters.